So, do you have a story and should you share it? In my opinion, yes to both of those. Here's why. Number one, everyone has a story. Everyone does. I've said this before uh, in other videos. Everyone has a story and in most cases, someone's story is usually a winding trail of how they got to where they are today. It's really a, a straight line. And usually along that winding road, something has happened. In some cases, um, it's, it's a very painful experience, something that was very hard to get through. And it was that moment, that point in their life that was the pivotal point that changed their direction for the better. Even though at the time, it didn't seem that way. And again, I've interviewed a bunch of people and many people have that, have that in their life where they had something happen to them and that was the pivotal point. Most likely there is something in your past, something, and it doesn't have to be so painful, but it may have been just, you were stuck in traffic one day, had it up to here with your job, you were not happy with where things were going, and something came on the radio, and it just sparked your interest. It sparked a thought that got you started on the idea and where you are today. So there is probably a pivotal point, that's number one. And that pivotal point, that pain point that you are going through is probably something that will resonate with someone else out there. And that's why you should share your story because your story can help someone else. So the question is, how do you tell your story so it's captivating? Well, let's talk about that. The way I start off just about every video and the way I would start off your story is not at the beginning. You know, once upon a time, blah, blah, blah. That's not interesting. You want to start off with that pivotal point in your life. So let's say, for example, um, you were diagnosed with cancer and that was the pivotal point. Your video would start off with you saying, in April of 2019, I was diagnosed with cancer and I thought that was my life sentence. I thought that was going to change my life for the, for the worst. And I had no idea that that would be the change of my life that I needed. That was the point where my life truly began. Hi, my name is John Smith, and this is my life story. You see, you get, their, you get the viewer's interest by grabbing their attention, giving them something to go on, and then they want to watch the rest of the video. After the beginning of the video, now you get into the story. And you can start pretty much from the beginning, not when you were born, unless of course something happened very late, in, very early in life that has a, uh, has a meaning of what you're going through today. But otherwise, you're gonna start off somewhere in your adult life when you were working at your job, whatever it was, and you tell that part of the story. Maybe it just wasn't meaningful for, for you, or maybe it was good, you thought it was good, and then this happened. And when this happened, and now you go into a little bit more detail about that pivotal point. And again, what I found is some people have multiple pivotal points, multiple pain points, multiple great points that absolutely change their direction, or in some cases, propelled them to go in a certain direction. And that's how you got where you are today. So you tell your story, and the bottom line is you've got to tell the story from your heart. You've got to tell it with feeling, Think about what you were feeling when you went through that pain point or when you went through that excitement. And then how did you get past that point? Most times there's someone else in your life who may have helped you. Uh, it, it may be God, it may be Jesus. Whatever it was that helped you get through that point, tell the viewer that. Be honest, be open. Again, there is someone out there who probably is going through what you went through years ago, they're probably going through it today. And if they find your story today, it just may be the one thing that they need to help them. So that's why I think you should share your story. And then how do you end the video? <clears throat> In my opinion, the video, you should end the video with, again, this is my opinion, I think you should end it with advice based on your life. Not that you're an expert to give advice, but you are an expert in your life. So why not give advice and say something like, you know, if you've been diagnosed with cancer or if you recently lost your job or if you recently are going through a divorce, I've been there. I've been there and I hope that my story helps you because the one thing that helped me most when I was going through my hardest time is, and you fill in the blank. 
You end the video with something that is motivational, inspirational, and helpful. And then you thank the person for watching the video. Um, again, if there's someone in your life that you'd like to thank, I would also mention that in the video because that person will love the idea that, that you mentioned them in the video and it's a very good chance they're also gonna share that video. And again, the more shares you can get on your video, the more chances you have of reaching people out there who may need to hear your story. So, you have a story, get out there and share it and uh, I hope this video has helped you. Thank you very much.